we should at least name I agree the one song that we refused to do on a Sunday morning. Boom. Reckless Love. Oh, Ooh. I didn't see that coming. I don't deserve it. I couldn't earn it. I couldn't it. earn it. F ne- that. God ne- is reckless. No, I don't care about that. I think he was reckless with me. He's like, I'll get you no matter what, girl. That's, uh, not, that's not recklessness, though. Well, it, that, to be honest, to is you. an argument I don't care about. That's determination. <laughs> that, I, don't, I don't say that to shut you down. I just, I've heard people argue about it. I'm not shut it down. It. You can't shut me down. <laughs> you're just not using the right definition for the words. I've heard people argue about this song so much, and I'm like, you're arguing about the wrong fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there it is. I'm glad you got Keith the first Giles, F-bomb. Keith Giles, Sorry. former former um, podcast guest, mentioned that at his church that they would change the words that I don't deserve it. I couldn't earn it. They, I can't remember what they changed it to. But sloppy they, wet kiss. Yeah, they changed it to sloppy wet kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any word that they didn't like, they just changed it to sloppy, sloppy wet, wet kiss. kiss. It was easy. Yeah, it didn't make a lot yeah, of sense. Totally. All right. <laughs> I think Zach and I could just share this one. We could do it on the count of three. I'm you so ready? Excited. You ready? One, two. Three. Defender. Defender. <laughs> the head of my enemy. Yeah. yeah. Is that what do you? Now, guys... Defender is Bethel, right? It's Rita Springer, so no, it's not Bethel. But she's did very she come affiliated. out of Bethel? N- uh, Bethel did that song, but okay. no, she didn't come out. Bethel adjacent. It's Bethel adjacent. Yeah. Which but almost all songs are. Too. Now, yeah. I, I, this is like this is not a disagreement with any or a judgment on any writer. I'll judge him. I get it. I'll judge the producer in the room on that one, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. And our context or the context of the church that I currently go to is like home for the wander, rest for the weary. And some of that entails people that are just that are ready to give up on their faith because of the idea that God hates them and wants to kill them. But but Jesus. So yeah, you got this bad, but then good. It's all good. And sometimes we can't bridge that gap. Like, like it, um, and you got passages like for, for me personally with that song, the first verse of that song, maybe it should be mentioned is like, you bring me the head of my enemy. enemy. And it's in this like sweet little, yeah, this sweet little sing songy melody. And, And all I did get, was worship. All I did was bow down. And you yeah, brought the, the head of me. Those parts are a little weak, too. I, I don't like the now, rest of the theology in it. I want to fully acknowledge that this imagery is biblical. Like, it, it's brought... There's tons of stuff in the Psalms about God redeeming people or, like, fighting for people and winning battles on their behalf. And so in our context, it's like, well, it, it's spiritual enemies. It's not physical enemies. But in a world that is incredibly polarized right now. And Mm. I I don't need decapitation imagery on Sunday morning. I don't need it. That was a quite a shock. I don't need it. And that's the one song I would be cringe embarrassed if I brought somebody to church that day. And that happened. I'd be like, shit, I got to go fix this train wreck later. They're never coming back. Right. They'll be like, these people are nuts. And yeah. I, kn- I know what people mean by that spiritually, but if I was visiting a church and that happened, I'd be like, all right, I'm never coming back. Even though I've literally played that song on Sunday mornings and I've hated myself for doing it. Defender? Yes. You guys have done that song? Oh, yeah. we've done it a bunch. Yeah. It's happened. And, but regardless, it's like- We complain about it always though. I, oh, I, really? I get there's a difference between spiritual enemy and physical enemy, but right now, the way uh, we are all polarized about politics and everything else, like I feel like the enemy, God calls us to love our enemies, and I think it's because he does. And I think there's large swaths of Christianity that look at God saying like, hey, love your enemies, but I'll take care of your enemies for you. And I just don't think that's what I think. There's a disconnect. Like it, when, when God, when it says God is perfect, be perfect like your heavenly Father is perfect. It's in the context of loving your enemies. It's bad 
it's bad lyrics. The producer should have caught this in the studio. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm not actually joking. I'm, Anyways, I'm dead okay. serious. The We've producer done this before have too. This. Wait, I, they should have helped them. So I'm the non musician singer in the what? in the uh, group here slash Game and, of Thrones fan. <laughs> he's gonna prove. Oh, pro- I, I love this song. <laughs> Bring me the head of their enemy. <laughs> <laughs> see but, Jeff in the corner saying, hey, uh, <laughs> my yeah. precious. No. Uh, no, I just I go back to uh, when I was a kid and watching movies on very visual person. So coming forward as an adult, I I like listen to like what people were saying back in the old movies. I'm like, oh my gosh, they were they were cussing. It was more. I get a, a feeling from movies, and when I hear uh, worship music, I get a feel yeah. for it. Never is it the words. Mm. So I remember you guys brought that up. That's the defender, I'm like, I have no really. Yeah. It's it's about it said those words. There, it yeah. it wasn't the word. It was like just whoever was seeing it, and it was good, and it was just mm. pounding my heart. And mm. that, and I'm just, and the whole time I'm thinking about Jesus and my family and yeah, friends and, and people. That, yeah, and that's it. Yeah, totally. So a totally different perspective yeah. on on the songs and the so lyrics. Yeah. Which is helpful for somebody like me, because if if you're and I struggle with worship music in general, I, like I I love playing it because I love playing music, and when people are together doing a thing together, that is healthy in a real way, um, whether it's worship focused or not, um, which is why I still do it. But hearing you say that, Jeff, is like. Yeah. It's like, it's okay, to, it's it's bigger than me. Yes. Like maybe people are getting, think yeah. they're not thinking about it the way I am. Maybe I can just let go. I don't need to control the situation. Yeah. And that actually helps me keep playing worship music, even though I never listen to worship <laughs> music. <laughs> I Just the next time that you guys are singing this, if you, you're on stage, I'm just going to be in the crowd, just be like... <laughs> He's doing the throat slash motion. If you're listening, <laughs> bring, bring me the head of my head. That's when I'm going to put my guitar down. And I'm going to walk off stage. Yeah. Jeff, Jeff says he doesn't pay attention to the lyrics, but then he leaves and like his youngest son goes and like dings his car. He's like, I could cut your head off right now. <laughs> it's in your subconscious. It's just, it's in there. It's in Don't there. worry. It's deep it's, in there. It's sitting in there. It's brainwashing you deep down inside. A different